Hi everyone and uh, welcome to this Lime CRM product update in the Limelight. Time uh, has passed 9.30 and it's time to get started. Uh, as most of the times during these sessions, I am your host. My name is Magnus Foglund. Some of you have seen me before. I'm working as a product marketing manager here at Lime. And today I will walk you through the newest product features and show you how they can help you in your daily work in Lime CRM. I'm not alone today. I have a colleague, Fredrik Eriksson, working as one of our product managers here. He is managing the chat and the chat is open during the entire session. And he's there to answer any questions you might have as we go. So feel free to use the chat, ask your questions uh, as, we, as we go along here. He knows both English and Swedish, so use whatever language as you like, as long as it's Swedish or English. Like always, we have a fully packed agenda these 30 minutes where we will uh, dive deeper and look at some of the amazing new features in our web client that we have been working on lately. Today, we're gonna talk about how to effortlessly craft precise, easy to use actions, how to swiftly organize your data with a hierarchy picker and how to enhance your dashboards using the new features in Lime BI. I'm super excited to talk about all of these things today, but before we get started, I will give you the tip and trick of the day, something that you might not know about, but something that will make it even easier to work with in Lime CRM. And today I want to just show you, and this might be a um, repetition for some of you, but how you can use what we call live docs for smoother document workflows. And LiveDocs is our set of document features where we integrate to SharePoint, Microsoft SharePoint, for enabling features such as the possibilities to view files straight in your web browser without downloading them and edit your Microsoft Office documents online without having to download your documents and upload them to Lime CRM again. How you can use LiveDoc to simply save a copy of your document as a PDF, read emails on your, your uh, iPhone, on iOS, invite people who do not use CRM to files that are stored in Lime CRM, and work simultaneously in documents. So LiveDocs, it's free of charge. We don't, you don't have to pay for it. If you need help setting it up, we're there to assist you, but Let's just show you how it works, shall we? So I'm going to my Lime CRM application here. And this is using Live Docs. So if I simply navigate to um, company card here, Lime Technologies, we'll see that we have six documents here. So when I open a document here. This is a quotation that we've been working on. And opening this document will open it directly in my browser using words online editor. And the cool thing here is that as soon as I do any changes to this document, it will automatically be saved. So in this case, it says the right, wrong company name here. I'm gonna write it Lime technologies instead uh, here and I don't need to save I don't need to download a copy and upload it again it just works out of the box so now if I just um, shut the document down and open it once again you'll see that the changes that I've done is uh, automatically saved and this makes it so much easier to work with documents since you don't need to spend the time, you know, handling different versions and such. It's already saved automatically and you access it directly from Lime CRM. And if you want to share this with someone else, you can simply use the, the features that Microsoft have for sharing them. So sharing this will give me the same kind of dialogue as I share another document and well, the people that I shared with 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 have access to the documents, and this works for basically 
old kind of document types. I can also open an image file or whatever, and it will open in my browser directly, working out of the box on my phone, wherever I am as well. So if you don't have Live Docs set up for you, um, reach out to us and we will help you get started. I will provide some links in the follow-up email to this webinar as well. But that was the tip and trick of the day using Live Docs for a smoother document workflow. So now let's proceed with the agenda, shall we? So the first thing that I want to talk to you about and where we will spend most of the times, time uh, this these 30 minutes is how to create spot on actions by unleashing the power of the action bar in the web client. So um, some of the features we release, they are direct user facing, whilst other are more part of improving the power and flexibility of the platform that is Lime CRM to be able to create great user facing experience for us at Lime and not at least for you as our customers. And uh, standard actions, as this new feature is called, is one of them. Last fall, we released the action bar, which provided a natural place for those quick and easily accessible workflows in Lime CRM. You might have seen the action bar when managing your to-dos or when performing bulk operations in the table view. Now, with the standard actions feature, we make it possible to configure powerful actions without writing complex code. I'm saying complex code since there are some parts which require some bit of code configuration, but it you will understand that it's actually pretty easy to, to get a hand of it. And this means that administrators can set this up in the administrators page of Lime CRM and the actions are shown immediately for the users. So we are very, very happy for this new feature. And we have, um, so we're, we created support for three different types of actions. The first is open a create new dialog. For example, create the add sales call action for quickly logging a sales call from the person card with the right type, date, and text, or adding a follow-up to do in the sales process a week from now. The other action that we have is update object. For example, quickly inactivate the person if they have quit on the company where they work, or create an action for taking a ticket, setting yourself as responsible coworker. The example that I just uh, talked about, quickly in inactivate the person, is the, the action that you see in the, in the uh, small GIF to the left. And the last one is open link. For example, a quick link for finding a person on LinkedIn or finding the latest news regarding a company on Google. But the possibilities with these three types of actions are limitless. And I hope that you, after looking at the demo and hearing me talk about this new feature, provide some uh, food for thought for how you can apply standard actions in your, uh, in your application, Lime CRM. We have also added another feature to actions called conditional visibility. And this means that you can define when a certain action should be visible for the user. For example, only show the set as inactive action on the person card if the person actually is active. And this makes it possible to create spot on actions in the right context, making Lime CRM easier to use. Uh, and yeah, as, as you understand, the possibilities are great with standard actions, and we really hope that you will use the new powers to create easy to use workflows to suit your needs. And for those of you listening to this webinar, in the send out after the webinar, we will provide a form where you can apply if you're interested to get help getting started with standard actions, where one of our experts from our expert service organization will um, provide uh, training for you. 
um, and get you going with standard actions. So stay tuned for the follow-up email after this webinar. But enough PowerPoint, let's dive in and see how this works in practice, going through some of the examples I mentioned. And you know, as you know, seeing is believing. So let's dive right into my uh, application once again and head over to a person card. So I'm just gonna go to my company Lime Technologies where I have four persons connected to Lime Technologies. So I have myself here, Magnus Foglund. Opening Magnus Foglund, you see that I don't have any actions at all here, right? But let's try and simply add some of the examples that I said. The first thing that I want to add is the add sales call action. So this means a simple button that opens a history note pre-populated with some information. So let's head over. As an administrator, I have access to the Lime admin uh, page where I can configure Lime CRM. Here, I navigate to the person view where I am right now. And you'll see that we have something called promoted actions. This is where I configure my standard actions. So I'm simply gonna add my uh, standard actions, which is the open create new uh, action. As a TV chef, I've already prepared a bit of the configuration here. So I'm adding the command. I'm adding the label here. I'm adding um, icon, in this case, call female icon and um, also adding a color. Um, there are, um, don't overuse the different colors, use them sparsely for just highlighting very important information. In this case, I'm simply having a gray, uh, gray color. You will see how it looks in a minute. And then I just add the configuration for this action where it says what kind of uh, line type I'm gonna open, history, I'm gonna set the type to sales call. And then I have a note which says, me and the person's name talked about, blah, blah, blah. So simply saving this, heading back to the web client and voila, you see that I have my add sales call action easily accessible on the person card. Pressing that will just pop up a new history note with the right type, with the right notes and everything as simple as that. So yeah, you can create that and they will of course be saved in the uh, in uh, history as well. Okay, so that was the first action, creating an add sales call action from the person card. Next up, I wanna create an action to easily just mark and set a person as inactive. So head over, heading over to the administrator, administrator's page again, I'm adding a new promoted action here. This type is the update Lime object action. I'm adding a new label for it, a new icon for it. In this case, another icon than I had previously. And now the, I want this to be a bit more highlighted. So I'm selecting the red color here. And then just adding a small piece of configuration. In this case, I say that the inactive box should be true. And I also provide a message to the user that notifies them that, well, the person is now inactive. It won't be selectable when you, when you, when you try to find them in relation fields. As easy as that. So now saving that once again, heading over to LimeCRM, and you'll see that I directly get my new action. So pressing that will setting the person to inactive, showing the, the message that I provided and saving it automatically. Now, in this case, I only want to show this action if it's relevant. In this case, I only want to show it if the person is active. It's not really uh, makes any sense to have a set as inactive action if the person already is inactive, right? So th that's where conditional visibility comes into place. 
Underneath the promoted action here, we'll see that we have visibility. So now I'm configuring, saying that this action should only be uh, shown if the person actually is inactive, so or it actually is active. So I'm just doing that configuration, saving it once again, going back, and you'll see that the action is disappeared because this person is actually inactive. Just to actually show you how it works, when I then set the person to active again, this the action will pop up. Super cool and very easy to, to, uh, to do. Last but not least, let's try out the link uh, action. And I want to create an action that takes me to LinkedIn to find the person on LinkedIn because that gives me more understanding about if I'm in a sales process, what, what is the person interested in and such. So let's try to do that as well, shall we? Moving back to my administrators page and simply creating a new action. In this case, um, it's the open link action here. I'm having a label called find on LinkedIn, um, adding the icon LinkedIn and just setting the color to gray in this case as well. And providing a bit of configuration where I say, what kind of uh, URL do we want to show um, and what should we populate it with? In this case, first name, last name and company name and find that on LinkedIn. So saving that, going back to my web client here, you'll see that I have my new action find on LinkedIn. Pressing this will open a new tab, finding the person, in this case, Magnus Fagelund on LinkedIn. And yeah, then I can just, you know, see what Magnus Fagelund has been up to. Um, if you want to add me to LinkedIn, go ahead. I'll be happy to, to, um, to uh, respond to your, uh, your invitation. Okay, so a bonus action that I created was the show on Alabolag action on a company card. A very simple link action that just takes my the registration number of the company and opens that company in on Alabolag to provide more information about the financial situations. And, and if you, I mean, you can go to whatever page you like, piping that information from LimeCRM to that page and, a, and you can create very powerful uh, actions on your own using standard actions feature. So yeah, as you understand, we're super happy for these possibilities in LimeCRM and hope that you will um, use them and to create powerful actions on your own. And as I said before, stay tuned in the follow-up email to this webinar where you will, we will provide a form where you can apply if you're interested to get started with some help from our consultants in setting up standard actions and get a bit more of a training in how to actually use them. Next, I'm very happy to talk about something called the hierarchy picker. Um, one minute. Uh, okay. PowerPoint doesn't work for me right now. Uh, let's try again. Next up, I'm happy to talk about how you can uh, categorize objects in LimeCRM faster and easier using the hierarchy picker. And um, this is a feature designed to speed up and simplify the categorization of objects in LimeCRM. And mainly for those of you who are handling tickets, but it can be used for other purposes as well. With the hierarchy picker, you can very easily navigate through the entire hierarchy of categorization without effort, enhancing data quality and speed. And it's possible to search among the entire hierarchy uh, all the different levels at the same time, saving unnecessary clicks. And it's also possible to customize the looks according to your unique needs. Now, 
let's see the hierarchy picker in practice. So I'm just switching to another application here where I have uh, my tickets. And I'm gonna show you how the old way of categorizing worked compared to using the hierarchy picker. So here I have a ticket where it's about um, cancellation of a car rental. So the old way of doing that would be to categorize this ticket in the different levels, starting from the business unit where we say that we have car rental, then I say the ticket category is booking and the ticket type is cancel reservation like this. Pretty easy, but a lot of clicks, right? With the hierarchy picker and the new way of categorizing, we combine all of the different category levels in one field. And that makes it so much easier to work with. So in this case, I know that this is a cancel reservation um, ticket. So I'm simply searching among all the entire hierarchy and I can simply just go to that categorization setting all the properties at one time. Of course, I can, I don't have to search. I can just navigate through all of the different levels by just clicking through them. But I mean, searching is, is uh, of course better if you know what you're, what you're looking for. So with the hierarchy picker, we made it much easier to streamline the way how you categorize objects in, uh, in LimeSRAM. The hierarchy picker is, um, is, is also like free of charge. If you need help on setting it up, please contact us and we'll, uh, we'll make sure that you get going as well. So last but not least, during this session, I wanna talk about Lime BI and the new features in how to create amazing uh, dashboards in Lime BI. And for those who are unfamiliar with Lime BI, that's our reporting software, our business intelligence software used as an add-on to Lime CRM for visualizing your CRM data any way you like. And with the latest improvements to specifically the dashboard part of Lime BI, it's now possible to download an entire dashboard as PDF. Great if you want to send uh, a dashboard to stakeholders, for example. Um, we, you can now also add different dashboard tabs as the image to the left shows to make the organization of different visualizations easier to understand. Um, there's better control of the dashboard layout so you can make the different different uh, visualizations uh, smaller and easier to to uh, place on the dashboard we set we, ha we have a new feature where you can set conditional visibility for cards so if a certain question don't have any results it won't show and last but not least we have some tips also how to get even more out of line bi now it's possible to set up dashboard subscriptions so that you can add the email address to certain people and they will automatically get the results from the dashboard at a recurring schedule. Also, we have a feature where you can move from analyzing the data in the graphs to the table view with just a simple click. Let's see how this work, shall we? Once again, a short demo. So moving back to my my uh, other um, my other application here, and I'm heading over to the start page where we'll see that we have a Lime BI dashboard in the middle here. But let's head over to Lime BI, and I will show you the new features. So. If you have access to Lime BI, you'll find it in the profile menu, opening up Lime BI directly, uh, directly like this. And I'm gonna go to that dashboard that I've set up. So the first thing, download the dashboard as PDF. Now in the menu here, you'll see that we have the export as PDF feature. Doing that, we'll simply download the entire dashboard with all the information that you see. And it will, um, 
look very, very good. I'm just gonna open that and you'll see how it looks. So a direct copy of how the dashboard looks at the moment where we export it. As I said, great if you wanna send this to other stakeholders, uh, members of the board, or whatever it might be, to get an insight in how we're doing right now. So we've also made it easier to to adjust the the look and feel of the dashboard by having a more granular granular design. So now I can just simply make these small widgets a bit smaller, like this. And let's try to just add another another widget here. So I want to have one that shows me the number of deals that we've closed today. I've already prepared that, so I'm just gonna add that small little widget here. But as you can see, this is actually not showing any, any information because we haven't closed any deals today. So um, saving this, now I have my, my dashboard, but in this case, I want this to only be visible if there are results. So I'm pressing the visualization objects and just hiding this card if there are no results. And saving, and now this will, won't show unless there are actually any, any results. Okay, um, so those were kind of the news in uh, Line BI. If I go back now to the web client, you'll see that the changes that I made, I'm just gonna refreshing the page here, you'll see that the changes that I made also are visible inside of Lime CRM. So here's my new layout of the dashboard that I created. Two tips for working in, uh, in, uh, with Lime BI is also the possibility to set up subscriptions. So here you can email this dashboard to recipients at a certain time. So I'm going to add myself as a recipient here and you'll see how it looks like this and uh, just enter that. And I can just set this up, but I can also just send an email now and you'll see how it will look. I'm going back to my, my email and hopefully I'll receive this, this as, um, as an email. Uh, here we go. Here is the, the, the dashboard that I just received as an email directly uh, from Lime BI. So a great way of keeping people in the uh, in, on the pulse in how we're actually doing by setting up subscriptions in Lime BI. Um, last but not least, it's possible to go from a certain question in the dashboard to the corresponding information in Line BI. So now I've set up, so when clicking on a certain uh, question, a certain visualization, it will show exactly th that information in the table view. So here I have Frederick, top performer 2024, pressing Frederick's um, uh, bar here will show me the underlying data that is based on the question. So I will actually show his, his uh, deals that he, clo he closed. And that is something you can set up in the dashboard by changing the click behavior. So in this, I set up, so go to a custom destination and just providing the filter in Lime CRM, which contains the data that the question is based on. A very great way of going from visualizing your data to digging deeper and understanding them in Lime CRM. Okay, time moves very quickly and uh, these were the things that I wanted to talk about with you today. So just to sum up what you just show, uh, what you just saw, We've gone through how to effortlessly craft precise, easy to use actions using the standard actions feature. We've talked about the hierarchy picker and how you can use that to organize your data. And last but not least, how to enhance your dashboard using the new features in Lime BI. I'm very happy that you joined me today during this uh, 30 minutes. I hope you feel inspired to use these new features to. Uh, make LimeStream even better 
for for uh, for your yourself and your entire company and uh, if there are any questions we'll keep the chat open a couple of minutes and we'll answer them as we go and stay tuned for the follow-up email after this webinar both with the recording and with the the form to to apply for if you're interested in getting more deep dive in standard actions and how it can work for uh, for your company thank you very much for listening have a great wednesday take care bye